Right, here we go. We're leaving the drove now. <clears throat> a couple of years back, I did explore the style over there. It took you over there, and then you go down, you know, another way to the area of outstanding beauty. This is my way down, which I like to do. Sometimes I come through a gate up there. Um, get magic mushrooms there. I don't know if these are magic mushrooms, but uh, people come and pick them here. Anyway, what we do, we go down here, we cross a little tiny road, a cheddar road, then we wander by a stream for a little while, and then we have to climb up into some fields. Now, I haven't heard or seen any cows, so it's quite likely there aren't none. And I should be able to walk through those fields to join up with the route where we started when we did Velvet Bottom earlier. There's the aerials, look. There's the aerials. I could do with a sleep. I really would love to just have a rest now. You know, I really would. But it can't happen. I think I'd seize up if I... I didn't keep going. I'm hoping like there is somewhere I can sit down, perhaps in Longfield, uh, with Long Sheepfield. I might be able to rest somewhere near there. I'm looking forward to seeing the big tree at Piney Slights and walking and climbing the stiles at Piney Slights and hope the big bull and his family have not by the gate so I can get over. I've never known a bull in there before. No. Nope. So here we are folks. The sun's coming out again. <clears throat> it's not never really been a big walk for me, you know, I mean this is the most tired I've been, I think. Ever. I think I'll sleep for a week when I get home. You can think you could sleep in the tent, but the, there are noises around. There's a path nearby, and people walk by who've been out for the evening, laughing and joking. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. And then you've got other people in their tents, maybe listening to telly or the music, and um, we're just pottering around. You can't go sort of think, or oh, just crash out. But I think I will be crashing out. Um, I don't know yet. At the moment I feel very, very tired. Very, very tired. And it's not, it's a walk I have done many times. It's not new to me. But I haven't done it for a year. And this is possibly not as long as I've done it last year, where I came from Sanford and walked it. And I came right across the area of Outstanding Beauty and went down. And I remember thinking then, should I do this? Because I was a little bit tired, but nothing like today. I felt very tired. I feel like I want to lie down. My body feels all jelly-like. I think really I, the stress of yesterday trying to get here was quite overwhelming really, this missing link thing. It is such a worry, you know. It's so childish for these two councils not to put their head together to allow that link to meet. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's a war game, it's a power game between them two. So that's the area of outstanding beauty which we're not going to today. And I won't be doing the other side of the gorge now. I was very ambitious earlier, thinking I could do it. I didn't sleep very well, I don't forget, either I was cold and I, I um, <clears throat> only got about three hours sleep properly and, and that was broken. I just remember feeling cold and uncomfortable because the bed kept moving about. And uh, that is, I, mean, I really look forward to camping, but I did, should have had my proper 
sleeping bag not this thin thing that I've got which is a summer bag it's supposed to be for the summer I've got to leave the tent for a couple of hours in the morning when I get up to let it dry out a bit the outside keep my fingers crossed it ain't gonna rain much in the, in the morning and I really need to arrange this taxi to take me home to take me to Winscombe I need to get to Winscombe You can't ask people for favours. I mean, if you're on holiday, you don't want somebody to say, oh, could you give us a lift? Do you know what I mean? Don't want to do you. It's fair enough. Right, well, I'm going to turn off again. There. Right, we've come down across the field, stuffed the drove earlier. Coming down now with this little stream that probably leads down to Cheddar. Could even be the source of the Cheddar River, the River Axe. Could be. It runs down through uh, over that way. With that rice pudding as well. Oh. Yeah, I'm not feeling very good, folks. Actually, I've got a really bad stomach ache now. Oh. I want to go home to my own bed, really. Do you? Yeah. Just want to go home. God, what's happened here? Alright, we've got to go for a bit of a jungle again. These paths are getting less well known now, so they get gr overgrown in the end, and then no one knows there was a path. So look at this, I might be one of the few people who know about this place. But of course once the ferns die down you'll be able to see the path again, as long as there's one or two of us still using it, you know what I mean? But you could come out here and you could think, bloody hell, which way? It's only because I know I've got to go down there. Because <sighs> I can't go back. As far as I'm concerned, I've got to keep going. Now, if I had my stick, it'd be easier. It's only a little bit of not knowing. <laughs> yeah. There we go. This is where the ticks get you, see? And you've got to go near the ferns like that. No one's been out to clear the path. No one's been out. Probably the same for the rest of it when I've got to go up now. But once the friend's dying back, it'd be easier. I've known this to be like a quagmire here in the past. Um, and one big bucket of rain, it would be again. But we've had very dry weather, generally. Some people are here, I can see footsteps. Footprints, I mean. Look 
can hear voices. Oh, Ooh, a new gate though, look. New gate, it's a bit weird isn't it? No one's cleared the path but you've got a new gate. There used to be a stile there, I used to have to climb over. Not a sign of a cow. There's Longwood. It'll be cut off, I swear. We'll see it later. I'm not going to bother going through it anyway. Even though I want to. Yeah, I've had uh, big cows. Lots of cows in here before. I don't think that farmer got them anymore. Because, um, by the look of it, they're in there. This, is, uh, this reminds me of one of the other walks I did once. But over and out a minute. Right back on with the little Sony video. Over there, I used to, there's a there is a path over there. I used to follow straight across to uh, Longwood. But like I said, I'm not going there. I don't rent it. Be open. I think they want the wood to try and heal itself and I'm honouring it. But it is a beautiful place. I do love Longwood. And to my to me, as far as I'm concerned, from Sanford over there I can make Longwood. But I can't do all that as well, right? I can't do all that as well, but I can do Longwood when it comes back, as long as that 51 bus continues to exist. So I'm just, there was a couple that went ahead of me. They seem to have stopped for some reason. I don't know why they stopped. Don't know where they're going, do they? lovely scene though everyone. I walked right round there earlier, right round. There's an old sign look. I've never done that. That's an old, old route that is. I can see somebody walking right at the top there in a gate as well. I can see, I can see somebody. Like I say, you go over there to Longwood. I got very good eyes, you know. Even though they're not as good as they were. Someone just came through that gate up there. Right, let me just take a picture of that. I'm just gonna zoom into that real old 